<laughs> we're going to the zoo. Chester Zoo. Welcome back to our channel as well. We're going to the zoo today. We're going to Chester Zoo. Chester Zoo. You're going to see lots and lots of animals with us. We're, what time is it now? It is 9.49. From where we are, it's like an hour and a bit, an hour and 20 minutes. Mm. Um, so you've packed some stuff for us. Yeah, I've done a coffee, some water, um, some like snacks and stuff just in case. We probably will eat out potentially, but at least we've yeah. got the food there just, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Got a can of powers in, <laughs> in the freezer. Yeah, I'm on my tiptoes. <laughs> if I'm not on my tiptoes, Ash needs to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited. We're going to the zoo. Little snack box, some water, apples, croissants, crisps, some sweets, some fruit, and some snack bars just to keep us going. Made a little flask cup of coffee. We're on the way, guys. Estimated arrival, nine minutes past 11. It's 62 miles up there. So it's a 124 mile round trip. But for 42 miles, we've got to be on the M6. 42 miles, Jesus. We've got a can of powers and a flask of coffee. Always got to come prepared. I'm so excited. We wanted to do something like the zoo for ages, haven't I? That ages, <laughs> and then and then we hung an ard between Chester Zoo and Twy and Twy Cross Zoo. Yeah, Twy Cross is cheaper, but I was always on an ard in between zoos, though, weren't I? Because I personally, I'm a hypocrite because I'm going to one. I don't. I, I, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna, I've got to interrupt Jackers. You have said this, but especially, especially with the Sea Life Centre. Yeah. More so, so, yeah. Yeah, like, personally, I don't like the ideas of zoos and even farms sometimes. Like, I know you need a, a working farm, i.e. me, I'm a hypocrite, but I don't like the idea of, like, zoos, Sea World and Sea Life Centre, that all these wild animals are kept in ca captivity for our entertainment. I think if it's for the animal's benefit, and they're gonna have a better life in captivity, then great, but I don't think it's fair to strip an animal away from their family and keep them in a, a enclosure that's smaller than our house. This is just my opinion. I think one of the zoos we were looking at, it could have been Chester or Tricross Zoo, it says all payments and all, all, all ticket prices and whatever, it's charity it, run, isn't it? It goes all, no, like it's all put back into the park, bollocks. I don't believe that at all. Not a chance. Yeah, Not like, a chance. like anything, they'll make profit. If it doesn't make money, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, not a chance. But Me. technically, if it all goes back into the thingy, it is profit. Does that make sense? That could be paying staff's wages, for food supplies for the animals, anything, but it's all gone back into. If, if, see, it's charity runs who are yeah. because they rely on donations hence why nine times out of ten when you book tickets to places like this they say would you like to put five pound donation on top oh, have another one of them cracked yeah. open the sweets these are going to go in one sitting i should have had more currently 10 35 arrival is still set for 10 well nine past 11. <laughs> This is what I do when Ashley drives, I have to feed him because safety first, guys. Feeling very pink today. <laughs> what animal best describes you and why? That's a good question. Um, or? Penguin. You would agree, wouldn't you? Small, cute, clumsy, bit of a waddler. Can be quite vicious, but just kind of a bit like, oh, a giraffe or a lion? Giraffe for obvious reasons. The height and then a the lion for like its vicious but protective instincts. Do you agree? Yeah. Bit of a meerkat as well, look, but you know what's going on. I was almost going to say meerkat for me. <laughs> I don't know, I want to back more than me. Oh, I've been sat in them. Do you want a, a bonbon or a lace? Another lace. I oh, have yeah. an absolute G packing this um, lunch box. Is that a, a porter cabinet? Yeah.
Chester! Towards Chester. It's Chester. Use the left lane. We're here, guys! Woo! We've made it! As if they have to have people to sort the car park parking out like every day. I know. But we've made it, guys. Can of powers and Ashley's driving. Got us here. And I'm not even going to be bothered about vlogging in public. I know it's going to be absolutely rammed and there's going to be kids everywhere. But I'm just, I don't care. I'm just going to do it because this is a memory for us. We'll never see these people again. Vlogging fear is a real thing, guys. We're on the way. It's very windy. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit cold. It's not too bad. I've put my thick coat on just in case, but it's not, it's not awful. It's just windy. <laughs> a bit too windy. <laughs> Wind's the worst though. Yeah. Because it comes sh sharp. So I'll rip you rain in. Really? See, I'm the opposite. I can deal with dry and wind, but rain, it just makes you want to stand inside. Just been to the monkeys. Well, still, 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 still in the monkeys. <laughs> He's having to duck because of everything. He's just so tall. <laughs> About the same size. Very <laughs> much. So we've been to the monkeys and we're just about to go to the rhino. Let's go over it. Really? Rhino. It's 
so far we've seen elephants, monkeys, and one and rhino. One rhino, which is really far away. He's like laying down. Seems a bit sad that it's on its own. I know. It may not be on its own. His friends might be like sleeping else. Friends. He's got friends. He's got his family. <laughs> He's taking the mic at me because I said friends. <laughs> The sun keeps coming out. It came out when we came out of the monkeys. It was nice and warm. Right. <laughs> starting to quiet down a little bit here there's less crowds it's mainly just around the entrance i think that's dead busy but it is kid riddled what was that i could eat a burger i knew you would i knew you would say that we're outside the birds <laughs> what are you doing there This is called a vindaloo plant and apparently when it rains it smells of curry. Butterflies. This is like right up your street, isn't it? As long as they don't touch me. <laughs> well, I mean, they do fly, so. Going into the butterflies. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so hot.
Oh my god, it has! Hello, Edia. Magical. That was so good. That was what you wanted to do, wasn't it? That was amazing. That's a lion. <laughs> I'm holding his hand. <laughs> I've got a feeling that might not actually be a lion. Is that a speaker? It could be a speaker. No, I think that's a lion. Can you wait that? Lions are here. The other lions are here, and then there's a like... I'm so tired. I feel ya. Oh my god. <gasps> Hey guys, what we just witnessed. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just like, I just love it. Absolutely love it. That was a big lion, wasn't it? Yeah, and it walked right past us and pounced on the other lion. <gasps> they, don't, they don't see much protection in them. It's, it's glass. So it's just a glass screen. And like, oh, I suppose there are railings. Like, oh. Hey. Shoulder, and yeah. he, 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 he said, <laughs> <laughs> That's something you would do without realising because of how tall you are. I don't know if you can hear. That's that lion. So loud. <laughs> I can't believe how loud the roar is. So, do the roar. Look. <laughs> Little friend. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Size of this place, but, uh, a size of
Oh, that's it. Oh, that yellow weed there. They don't do much. I'm sleeping. So we're in all the tropical realm, just looking at a little froggies. Uh, we've just looked at a tarantula and, and some fishies. Oh my god, the sloths are up here, literally, like the walkways here. They're up there. Oh, they come down at any point. We didn't think that they were actually out, but they are. We just turn around and they're up there. That's so scary. Like, 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 that's mental. <laughs> sloth. Little sloth. Two little sloths. Just waiting for the Jaguar. We did see a little snippet, but waiting for it to come back round. Oh, it's coming. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh. Mange too. Mange We're getting peckish. Oh, what's this? An Azura Zagute? Well, it's not an Azura Zagute because they're not out. <laughs> Going in a loopy loop. <laughs> this feels like we're going on a ride at like Orton Towers. You're gonna fit right in. <laughs> Can I just say I'm so impressed I have not drop my phone yet. <laughs>
Don't look impressed. <laughs> that was class. So nice. We're gonna go and have a look at the penguins now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Min. Mini Lily. A mini Lily. I'm so excited. This was what I was really excited to come and see was the penguins. Cold. It's not that cold. The sun's out. I mean, she says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him having to duck. Can finally stand. Just watched a chimpanzee scratch his piles bum. It's like a pink balloon. Nice. So we've just saw the penguins. I don't actually know what else is left to see. We need to try and find a map somewhere. Find a pub. No matter where we go, we always find a pub. And it's beautiful as well. We sit outside in the sun. This building's so nice. I'm not a fan of the whole flex paint stuff either. That's for kids. What do you expect? Someone just said, looks like your mum in the morning. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to enter a free flying bat forest. <laughs> These are life sizes, so like, what the heck? Like, that's more closest to my hand. So we're at the last little part, it's called the island, and then probably going home. Well, I think there's a bear around here. So yeah. Oh, there's alligators. That's what's supposed to be around here. Now. Not really with the tigers as of yet. They're out hiding somewhere, she said. But you can see the mother, but I really want to see the baby cubs. Feet are well and truly hurting now, aren't 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> My feet are fine. They're just, you know, you have that natural ache from walking a lot. <laughs> Felt like I'm on holiday. Warm, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But just like the whole like vibe and everything feels like walking down to the beach or something. Mm -hmm. Me vlogging as you're vlogging. Yeah. I think we've got to an end now, I think. I think we? so. Me vlogging as you're vlogging. Yeah. I think we've come to an end now, I think. Haven't I think we? so, yeah. I think, um, you enjoyed that today? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I think we both needed that as yeah. well. Nice little day out. Lily wants a Starbucks as well now. Yeah, I could have a muck spicy from McDonald's and a Starbucks. Yeah. Um, I also want to go into, it's 2.46, I also want to go into Chester too. I'll have a Starbucks and McDonald's in Chester, my We'll see. Yeah, that's an awesome. So, done. Just left. It's time now. Just under an hour and a half journey, but do you want to go to Chester? <laughs> Just got back in the car. Oh, I'm windswept for sure. Got back to the car. It's five past three. We've been here ten past eleven to twelve, twelve to one, one to two, two to three, four hours. So for seventy quid, not bad. <laughs> Bye bye Chester Zoo. We're now currently gonna go for a McDonald's. We're thinking this is the right way. We're gonna have ooh change of plan guys. We've decided to come to Tim Hortons. We've never had one before and the closest one to us is about fifty minutes away potentially. Just watch yourself when you get out. So we're gonna have a Tim Hortons! Tim, Tim, t three quid. What, is that just to buy the photo? <laughs> so excited. Tim Hortons. Oh, it smells nice, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> I'm 
went with the banoffee shake and Ash went with the banoffee latte. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's comfy as well. Yeah. I want to film you trying it. That's nice. And this this chipotle dip with the chips and the milkshake. It's got never been to America, but I can imagine the America kind of vibe. Mm. Mm. So hour and a half journey home. It's currently four twenty. Let's go home. Shagged. Shagged. Literally just said to Ashley, oh my god, I hope we don't hit any traffic. And it's all yellow on I mean it's not red as of yet. <laughs> yeah. You it's all yellow, meaning congested. Yeah, and it's not red though, but cheap. Yeah, I think it'll turn to red. I think it'll mark. Ain't it, ain't it mental how, like, how does that do that? How does Google Maps do that? People update it on like things like Waze and that, and they just know, like satellites and cameras. Oh, there it is. I told you it would go to red. It's currently 4.36 and we're expected to get home for 5.48. I bet you six o'clock earliest. Got stuck in some more traffic so the time of arrival just keeps going up and up and up it's been all right to be fair but we've still been, got i think this is like the third um segment of traffic, traffic yeah. we're supposed to be sitting this for 12 minutes it's currently um 10 past five so i understand why the traffic is here because it's like peak time So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Ashley's just gone and got in the shower or else he would end the video with me. Um, we've had an amazing day. We have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Chester Zoo. We'd recommend it to anyone, but we'd just like to say it's a lot of walking and also be prepared if you do go in the school holidays like us, there are obviously a lot of kids, but we were pleasantly surprised with how little annoyed we were about the fact that there were kids there if you get what I mean. It wasn't too bad, but we've had a really, really fantastic day and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.